Okay, welcome to the uh, Lacey Range. Today is 29th of December. Uh, we're at 40 something degrees again. Another cool day. Uh, nothing bad, but uh, hopefully, hopefully tomorrow, of course, it's going to be raining, but we've got some warmer weather coming in. But uh, today, let me open that bolt, <clears throat> get that open. We have the uh, this is the built up now. This is not original, but the uh, M39 SOV um, done this several years ago. Uh, the gun itself uh, mismatched, um, so I went ahead and made it into SOV, and been very very glad I did. Uh, of course, this is the original PEM scope. This particular model made 1937. Uh, Accu mounts, base rings uh, the bolt man did the uh, the bolt if I remember correctly uh, other net stock M39 and uh, I won the first uh, annual uh, Vinnie Sniper World Championship John Brewer and I with me firing this gun uh, it, it is superbly accurate I hope we see that today I ain't shot it in a long time I, I'm bad about uh, getting the gun ready and uh, if it does great then I just sort of lose interest in it and uh, move on to something else that needs a little work. I guess I'm an ultimate tinkerer but uh, with that let's shoot it at a hundred and uh, I eventually want to get out to 300 because uh, uh, old Rob Ski on uh, gun boards and of course some of y'all may know him at AK Operators Union uh, has made the 300 yard headshot challenge and uh, what I'm gonna do I, I've got the uh, triangles that I use that are three by three by three so if we can uh, light that up we can say that was a head and uh, but we'll walk it all the way out and see what we get uh, today I'm shooting uh, 7.62 by 54 rim these are Lapua cases uh, loaded up with 46.5 IMR 4895 and a uh, 174 grain uh, Sierra uh, match king on top of it. So these are dummy real well. They're running uh, 2600 feet per second. And uh, I think this thing sighted in the best I can remember. But we'll go ahead and uh, see what it can do. I'm going to put my glove back on. Uh, the hand's getting cold here. And we'll do uh, front rest, but no rear rest. There we go. Sometimes it's a little hard to get the extractor over that rim. But she is over it. Just had to get manly with it. Alright, let me start the recording on the target at 100 yards. And it started. Okay, here we go. Cold bore shot, 100 yards. Scope set on uh, one, windage on zero, and I'm going to aim at the very bottom of the diamond. Alright, that's right in the diamond there. And uh, I hope y'all noticed that. Uh, you know, with the, the Russian uh, scope setup, especially this top mount, Lord, are these top mounts hard to get zeroed. Uh, a lot of finagling goes in them, and it took some uh, excellent guys to, to do them originally and get them on. It's, uh, I don't know if there's a tried and true way to get them on there and and do it every time, but you got to culminate the impact uh, with your scope and uh, of course these scopes are not self-centering like our modern scopes are they will actually you know if you go right and up you're going to see it go right and up in the field of view uh, so but you so you got to do a, quite a bit of work to get them with their center all right we got that shot right there shot number two Okay, it's a hit. OK, 
Okay, shot number three. Cheek weld up. Eye centered. That looks pretty good from here. I, I could all, I don't know. <clears throat> Let's see. I think we got all three of them. Yeah, it looks like I just I wore that diamond out. Uh, one at the bottom and, and two just up at the center of it. That, that's roughly an inch and a half group, I guess. Uh, good shooting. Like I said, no rear bag. Uh, so what we'll do now, we'll move out. We'll do the 150 and uh, 250 or 100 or 150. 200, 250, and then we'll go for uh, Rob Ski's headshots at uh, at 300. Okay. <clears throat> All right, get my glove back on. All right, now due to the ammo shortage that we got going on right now, of course I reload all my own, but uh, primers are the hard thing to get right now. Um, and most of the time, the Sierra Match Kings are a little hard to get for the uh, the uh, 310 diameter. So, uh, stocked up pretty good on powder and bullets right now. But primers, I try to keep 5,000 on hand. I'm below that. So, uh, we'll go easy on that. I got I need to be prepared for all the next season, which uh, be ready uh, to get through that. So. <clears throat> All right, we're going to put one round at 150. Okay. All right, now that impact at 100 was a uh, just a tad bit high, so we ought to be good here at 150. Okay, get my breathing settled down. High centered. And we're recording. Looks pretty good right there. I would call that a a kill. Uh, can't ask for much better than that. Have to go from there. But that's good. Now we'll move on out to 200. Okay, here we go at 200. forgot y'all almost let me forget I, I don't I don't have my book with my dope in it right now but uh, I'm gonna go up to two on the scope it may just be a tad high uh, of course my ballistics are not exactly the same as the Russian rail and uh, one thing all of you need to know uh, got several of these PE scopes or PEM rather and several PU uh, and none of them same ammo none of them are exactly the same not that the Russians were doing anything bad but nothing replaces actually shooting and uh, getting the dope based on where they impact with your particular setup so you can't trust you can't trust this the uh, the dial on the top I knew it when I done it. I pulled that and I almost paused that went left. <clears throat> That's what happens when you don't get good and settled. Let everything relax. Let it fall into its natural point of aim. Okay. 
All right, now, y'all see that right there. Uh, as good a gun as this shoots, as good as it shoots, in fact, we'll do another one just to, to make sure that you know that <clears throat> it's that easy when you start going out longer ranges uh, to flub a shot. Now, I bet all of you are wondering what Andy Lumberg would say. Okay. <clears throat> well, pretty happy with it now. As long as I do my part, it will do its part. So we got it on two. And uh, I bet you, and I'm going off of memory too, when I go to three that was just a little high right there I would almost bet you I can leave it at about 2.5 and uh, probably be pretty good but we'll, we'll see I ain't gonna move it up on the 250 and we'll see where we're at okay we're set up for the 250 I'm not gonna not gonna make any adjustments to the scope uh, <clears throat> And let's see what she can do. I bet no adjustment to scope. I bet she's pretty close on the diamond. Once again, as long as I do my part. Yep. Is that close enough for everybody? Uh, I think when I go up to 2.5, and uh, man, I, I can't remember what uh, Rob's challenge was. Ten rounds, five rounds. I think we'll put five on the 300 and uh, see what we get. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set my dope right now. I'm going to go up to 2.5. And uh, I'm gonna have to move my other uh, camera slash spotting scope because I can't see the 300 from where it's at right now. Uh, but that, that ain't gonna be no problem. I'm gonna have to probably get it over here a little bit closer to the gun itself. But uh, we can do that. Once again, like I say, this is a match winner. Uh, I ought to be shooting it every time, but. That would not be fun. You know, did I, uh, hmm, I can't remember if I turned on the, uh, thing. I got a picture of it, though. Okay. All right, here we are for the, for the final challenge. Dope is in. Now, I looked it up. Uh, Rob Ski, uh, the challenge is 10 to the head. 10 to the head. <clears throat> so we'll try this uh, 2.5 meters. And uh, once again, no rear bag, front rest. And recording. Okay, looks like I might need to go up to the three.
Ooh, went a little high. All right, three more shots. Last shot. Uh oh. I don't know if I hit it on that last one. Yeah, I didn't hear anything. I don't know. We'll have to check. <clears throat> Got overconfident, I guess. I'm gonna have to go down there because we we definitely hit it so many times that uh, we'll have to see what it's got. Uh, I'll take you down there with me. That way you can see it. And uh, we'll just walk by each each target and see what we got. <clears throat> okay, folks. Told you we'd go down here and take a look at them. That's at 100 yards. Uh, not bad, not bad. I could usually do better than that, but I'm not going to complain. And that is three rounds. Uh, that's, mm. I still, I still stick with the inch and a half. We can live with that. Okay, here we'll go down. Walk down the Lacey Range here. May end up cutting some of this, but uh, that's how it goes. When you're a one-man film crew and the star of the show too. All right, looking at the uh, 150 there, I probably should have took it out to 300 and just set it out there. And uh, that would probably be the old, that is about the size of a head right there. As you can see right there, impact at the very tip of the diamond there. Pretty happy with that. Let's go on to 200. Going down the lacy range here. I hope y'all like the range. Uh, spent quite a bit of little time through the years doing this. 
Uh, for some of the members of the Henry County Gun Club, <clears throat> got places to shoot uh, 700 out there, and then over at, uh, another friends, we got uh, 15, 1700, something like that to shoot. But 300 does most of it for me. And as you can see right there, that was with the scope set on two. And really, probably could have went 1.5 right there. And uh, would have been down in the triangle. But once again, not bad. As you can hear the heavy equipment out there, uh, that is actually off to the side of my range, not not behind my range. Always got to be worried about what's down range. Now, <clears throat> there's a mile between where I'm at right here and the next... Uh, business or anything you want to call it there's no homes back there but uh, now that was uh, if I remember correctly we left that set on two and that's a 250 meter target so it definitely fell right in there can't complain about that now we'll walk on down Go to the 300 back here. I've got me a little trail made through the woods where I don't have to do this. But just the fact of keeping y'all oriented where we're at. We'll go down this way. Hopefully, I don't bust my butt. What do you think about that? That's some impacts. And I at least credit half of them to Andy Lumberg. Of course, I, I do uh, allow people in the neighborhood to shoot on my range. Uh, which, you know, there is quite a few people out here. All right. Now that's a, a 12 by 20. Inch target. Let's see, there's one in the head. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Possible nine. I actually think I missed one of them. But as you can see there, at, on three, uh, see I, I took that first impact down at the bottom and then moved up. I probably should have stayed right where I was. But still not a bad little uh, group for the majority of it. And like I say, when you're shooting without a, a rear rest, uh, you can usually I'm not for sure how the rest of the guys are shooting it, but I'm just sort of shooting it like we do at the vintage sniper matches and uh, give me a good idea how that works. And uh, with that, uh, we'll go ahead and shut this down, try to get this video uh, published to tonight, and uh, glad you came to the Lacey Range, and we'll see you on top of the hill.